afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs of Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, for those of you wanting a later model loaded out, bigger Class C motorhome, I probably got the best buy on the internet on one of the lowest mileage, top of the line Class Cs. Guys, this is a 2018 Thor Quantum. And guys, for those of you who are not familiar with the Thor lineup, the Thor Quantum is the um, top of the line in a Class C in the Thor lineup, short of going up to like the Omni Super Cs. And uh, this particular one right here, guys, is priced way under any other one on RV tra Trader, way under NADA Retail. Um, it's got 13,900 some odd miles on it. It's the PD31 2018 Thor Quantum PD31. It's 31 feet, three inches. And guys, Thor pulls out all stops with these Quantums. I mean, brand new, these things are about $125,000, $130,000 before they start adding fees and upsells. That probably drives the cost up closer to 150. Um, I mean, it's got residential refrigerator, uh, it's got a 4K W on end generator, Michelin tires. Uh, it does have the HD Max, or they call it the HD Max Plus. So, you know, I guess the upgrade to HD Max. Got your cow catcher on the front. Well, that's what I call them anyway. Brush guard, grill guard on the front. LED marker lights. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful on the inside and outside. Um, just crazy good looking motor home. Frameless windows, like I said, it's one of the few RVs you're going to find in a Class C with automatic leveling jacks, outside television, 1800 watt inverter, got a quick connect gas grill hookup, built on the E350 chassis or E454 chassis, does have the bigger V10, the 362 horse with a 8,000 pound tow capacity. Again, guys, would I put 8,000 pounds behind an E450 motorhome if this was mine? Probably not. I think that's too much for an E450. I don't care what the manufacturers say. I've got 25 years of driving and towing experience behind motorhomes. I wouldn't put more than about 6,000 pounds max, but you buy the motorhome, you do what you want has a massive and i mean probably one of the biggest slide outs you're going to find on any motorhome period full wall three track slide out i mean this thing is probably 26 27 feet long slide out huge slide out with awning topper it does have the uh, truma insta hot water heater you pretty much turn your water heater on right before you take a shower. And uh, by the time you get your clothes off, get in the shower, you've got literally unlimited hot water for as long as your water supply holds up. I mean, this is pretty much the best of the best of the best in the Thor lineup if you want a Class C. Um, man, that's a good looking motorhome. 69.9 with less than 14,000 miles on it. 30, 32 feet, one inches long. Let me flash the current NADA up with no added options, just adjusting for the miles. Be right back. You can see guys what kind of buy this is. NADA, no added options. I'm not gonna be like everybody else. Add two pages of standard equipment and call them options. Uh, <laughs> 94,100 some odd dollars and I'm seven or 8,000 dollars under low retail with 14, 000, under 14,000 miles in absolutely immaculate condition, guys. They just don't get better than this in a used RV. Not a better deal. Another, th another thing I use to compare our prices that I recommend everybody else use to, of course, everybody knows what RV Trader is. That's pretty much the definitive source for uh, people shopping for RVs to buy or sell. Uh, you know, you ask me what, what to advertise on, that's what I'm gonna recommend. Over 200,000 plus RVs for sale on RV Trader. They have this thing called a price checker tool that I use multiple times every day. I looked up 2018 to 2020 Thor Quantum PD31s. 
Guys, let me show you something. I should have showed this on the inside. Everyone for sale. Lowest price one in the country, 83 grand. Highest is 97.8. Average price, $90,400. I've got mine for 69.9. Now, if you don't, if you need further proof that I, I've got a lower price, I've got the lowest price in the country on quality used RVs. Get online and Google it, guys. Look up 2018 PD31. Thor Quantums with uh, under 14,000 miles. Let me know if you find one for less than 69.9. As we step inside, guys, you do have, like I said, 1800 watt inverter I've got on right now. Um, this is your on and off switch. You do have an auto start for your generator, which is actually, um, and actually may explain something right there. I've had the generator running for a while it's got plenty of gas in it's only got 60 hours on the generator and it died on me and that switch it just fired up and just died on me again all right more than likely we've got something wrong with the generator which we are going to fix so whatever it is guys probably carburetor or something like that for not being run much over the past three or four years um we'll definitely take care of that no problem um but i had it running for about 30 40 minutes and everything was working air conditioner was ice cold we do guarantee that stuff to work we're going to fix the generator guys you know guys these things don't always go to plan heck i wish they would but uh dash air is ice cold and actually got pretty cool in here so i mean it's per certainly very tolerable in here by any means uh, front cab looks great. Front seats look great. No flaking furniture with this prop with this one uh, They definitely use a higher grade of furniture in the Quantums than they do most of the other Thors 13,959.9 miles. No check engine light. I do have the brake light on So I could use the power awning which it works great. You do have the entertainment center. Look at these beautiful cabinets guys These are a, a solid hardwood cabinet great high gloss finish these are not the press board cabinet what i call press board like you see in a lot of motor homes i mean these are actually very high-end cabinets drawers there's your rearview mirror <laughs> um which is pretty much useless with this floor plan unless you got people riding with you you want to keep an eye on them uh dash air's ice cold you do have hdmi hookups you do have uh usb chargers built into the dash that's a 40 inch television You got a table booth that's going to make a bed. I mean, the upholstery is perfect. Uh, sofa makes a bed. You got solid surface countertops. Like I said, only pretty much, only the best. You got your power tower. Pop that up. Got you some 110 outlets, some USB chargers. You got an induction cooktop as well as your traditional uh, two burner uh, propane cooktop beautiful cabinet work in here guys absolutely beautiful it does have again the high uh it does have the electronic levelers not just the stabilizers but the levelers it does have a 15,000 btu ducted roof air porcelain rv toilet man big shower skylight no smoke or pet odors in here do have the outside mega storage we do have the refrigerator which i have running right now uh, this is a 16 cubic foot residential refrigerator i do have it running off the inverter so yes guys you can have a cold refrigerator running off the inverter that feels great too you've got the rapid camp uh which controls all your um from here you can control your jacks your slide out um lights levelers all kinds of stuff you do have man this is a nice rv this is your this right here of course your water heater control and this unit also has an auxiliary water heater as well it's got a six gallon dsi gas electric i forgot to mention that outside you got two water heaters in case your trim water heater doesn't work or you don't want to use it for whatever reason you can also use your um propane 
and electric water heater as well. Queen Island bed here in the back bedroom. You do have solid sliding doors for privacy. You do have a Bluetooth stereo back here. Fantastic vent fan in case you want to boondock and you don't want to run generator. Uh, TV, closet space. Even though it's a full wall slide out, it doesn't have that huge open floor plan like most full wall slides have, which is kind of nice. And of course, guys, I will bring the room in and show you what it looks like with the slide out is in. And even though it's going to be borderline whether I'm going to test drive it or not because it is toward the end of the day. And by the time we get done with the video, my people, uh, all my sales people may have already left. We'll know here toward the end of the video. Books and manuals are in here. Tall ceiling, interior height. This is a great RV for somebody that's been looking at brand new ones. Because I'm going to tell you guys, when you see a new price, even if you saw this, I saw somebody's brand new for $129.9 in a 2022 model. You're not going to go in there with a cashier's check for $129.9 and leave with a new Quantum. Because you ought to realize how new dealer advertising and really even used dealer advertising works, guys. What they do is um, um, they get you in on that price, but they don't tell you about all the fees, all the upsells. You know, you've got to add probably another fifteen, maybe $20,000 to that price in fees and upsells. So they may advertise it for $129.9 brand new, but it's going to be the time you leave with that unit $150 or more. Because they're going to tell you, they're going to feed you a line like, well, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, uh, you you know, to buy this for $129.9, there's certain rebates involved that you have to do. First of all, you can't bring your own financing from your own bank or you can't bring cash. We're not going to take that. Part of that price includes a rebate from one of our preferred lenders uh, to sell it to you for that price. you got to get financed through that lender. Um, and the reason they do that, guys, is because they actually take the interest rate and mark it up 1% or 2% over what the bank approved you for. But you don't know that because they're dealing directly with the banks, not you. You're, they're the, you don't have no direct contact with the lenders. They do. So you have no idea what the actual rate is. All you know is what they come in and tell you what it is. And you can bet it's marked up. And banks, and I'm going to tell you a secret, guys. I don't care what other dealers tell you. Banks do not give dealers rebates for your business. Again, banks do not give dealers rebates to for them to finance your loan. I promise you, that's a line they feed you. All they do is they make $10,000 on the interest rate, and they give you two or $3,000 of that back and call it a rebate. It's not. It's ripping you off. You're paying thousands of dollars. You know, it's like, um, like going up to somebody and they say, hey, you want to know how to make $5? He goes, what? Give me a $20 bill. And they give you, and you give that guy a $20 bill to show you how to get $5 and they give you $5 back. So that's how you do it. It's that concept. <laughs> it's exactly like that. Um, but that's how they do it, guys. And then they start talking, and then they start, and they say, well, to buy this unit for $129.9, you got to buy a five year extended warranty that goes on top of the factory warranty. Guys, no extended warranties worth the paper it's written on. Stick with the factory warranty. Extended warranties are junk, period. All you're doing, you're giving them eight or $10,000 for something that when you need it is going to deny the coverage, going to deny the claim. And in the, you know, maybe one out of four claims that you have with it. Um, Cause by the time your factory warranty expires, you're gonna pretty much have everything fixed. And by the time uh, your extended warranty kicks in, they're gonna say that it's 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 uh, it's a pre-existing, and they're gonna come up with every excuse in the world not to pay the claim. I see it every day, and um, you're gonna pay it out of pocket. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna pay ten thousand dollars for a five-year warranty that the dealer paid fifteen hundred dollars for, and they're marking it up to ten thousand dollars or eight thousand dollars, and adding it to the loan that's marked up two points, costing you a ton of money. That's how they make their money, guys. 
But um, don't take my word for it. If you feel like you need to buy a new one, then go buy it. But, but here's all I want you to do. When you go in there, write the advertised price on the palm of your hand. And then when you get ready to sign on the dotted line, at, insist on the out-the-door price. And look at that price and look at the price you wrote down on the palm of your hand. Look at the difference. I mean, you'll, and, and you remember I said that. Here, guys, 69.9, lowest price in the country for a 2018 PD31 Thor Quantum. Period. You can quote me on that. Plus applicable sales tax. If you are a Georgia resident, and this is Georgia residents only, there's a $50 to $100 tag and uh, $50 to $100 highway impact fee and a $50 to, and a, and a, excuse me, a $40 to $50 tag and title fee. That's it. We charge no dock fees, no prep fees. We charge no destination fees. We charge no uh, happy camper fees. No, none of that stuff, guys. We have no upsells, no fees. That's why we've been in business for over half a century. Since 1968, guys. We keep things easy, simple, and done. 69.9 haggle-free firm. Includes our major systems inspection, which includes, of course, fixing that generator. We'll make sure the slide out works correctly. We'll make sure the refrigerator and freezer gets to operating temperature. We'll make sure the drivability is great, which hopefully we'll get to drive it here in a minute. Uh, we'll make sure the, um, of course, awning works, even though we don't guarantee that, but it does work, so you can rest assured about that. We'll make sure the plumbing systems work, which includes both water heaters, uh, includes the um, um, faucet, spigots, toilet, things like that. And um, we'll make sure the steps work which I think this just got the low step like most modern RVs. There's really no power step to worry about. And um, everything else we leave to you guys. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's why we always tell people do one of two things. And you should do this with any new or used RV you buy. You need to, need to come inspect it yourself. Or the very best thing you can do is if you're going to invest this much money, pay and hire a third-party inspection service, guys. It's... I don't know why everybody doesn't do this. And I'm probably the only dealer on the internet that'll tell you to do this. Hire a third party inspection, sir, an RV inspector. That's for you buy any used or even brand new RV. You know how many people wish they took that advice? Because these are used vehicles, guys. You know, we check the major stuff, the stuff that can ruin your trip. You know, uh, uh, but we don't cover the Mickey Mouse stuff. So, like, there's a lot, whichever light in this thing works. Let's just say this light bulb right here didn't work. Uh, you know, that'd be that'd be on you to fix it. Or if um, a drawer was off track, which so far with all that stuff's perfect. Guys, I wish I could fault this thing, but I can't. <laughs> it's that nice. Maybe just a tad, and I mean a tad of HD Max Fade on one side of it. If if I had to just really, if I was forced to come up with some kind of a fault on this thing, and a little bit of buffing and waxing can probably fix that. But guys, um, in this, I mean just a tad, probably not even worth mentioning. Most people wouldn't even notice it. But they are used, guys. Cosmetic imperfections is part of buying used. So, anyway um that's why you need to inspect it yourself and or hire a third-party inspection service just coordinate everything with your salesperson get your salesperson by calling 706-965-7929 i want you to get online i want you to research don't take my word for it this is the lowest price one in the country for a 2018 pd31 thor quantum do your own research see for yourself and that's of course as of right now at video production now i can't tell you you know six months from now of course, this thing will be sold probably in a few days, but who knows, six months from now, a year, whenever this video, whenever you watch this video, of course, it'll say sold in the video, but that's as of right now at time of video production. I had somebody call me out on that on a video I shot two years ago. I said, well, yeah, that was two years ago when I shot the video. Obviously, that's not going to be a, go into effect today, two years later. <laughs> but the funny thing is, it was still one of the lowest ones, that, you know, now, two years later, but they won't argue with me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, but you know, I shouldn't have to tell you that. That should be pretty obvious. But you know, I can't really change a video once it's published and put online. But 
anyway guys uh, this unit can sleep up to six and uh, perfect couples unit perfect for a small family if you want the very best that Thor makes in a class C this is it without getting into a super C but still tow like I said specs say 8,000 pounds but more than enough to tow a Jeep or a, a trailer with your motorcycles or golf cart or whatever you know you need to tow it this can probably handle most everybody's towing needs for a class C motorhome at least probably 95 percent of, of those out there a lot of people buy super c's that for the extra towing capacity don't even need it <laughs> and i would rather tow, have this in a super c because it's a lot easier to get them serviced and worked on than a super c uh, only reason i'd uh, only reason i see to have a super c is if you're towing a lot of weight of course i have people like the looks of a super c and the front engine diesel i get it but it's all what you want guys but uh this v10 is you know uh usually a 200,000 mile engine this thing's got 13,000 i really don't think you got to worry about wearing it out um <laughs> anyway stay tuned guys i am going to pause the video for a minute and bring the room in show you how that works show you what it looks like and then hopefully if we get done we can take it for a quick drive if not, guys, I will um, try to release it tonight, then maybe re-release it tomorrow after I get one of my guys to go for a test drive. I hate to do that. It's more work for me, but it's part of it. Hang tight, guys. And also, by the way, call before coming to look. Deals like this, obviously, it's not going to be on the market very long. Don't assume because it's online that it doesn't have a deposit on it. Call before coming to look to make sure somebody else hadn't beaten you to it. All it takes is a five-minute phone call and a credit card is off the market. Happens every day, multiple times every day here, guys. We still, we're still we selling used RVs like crazy. Uh, with our prices, we got the lowest prices in the country. People are traveling from all over the United States to buy RVs from us because of what we do, guys. And the, we price these things to sell. We do it because we operate on a cash basis. We buy these things cheaper because we pay cash for them. We don't finance our inventory. We don't floor plan our inventory like other dealers do where they have to pay interest every 30 days on unsold inventory. Uh, that, that's, that's thousands of dollars on every unit they have to pay interest on that they pass along to the customer that eventually buys it because they have to mark their prices up. That's why our prices are almost 20 grand less than everybody. I mean, you get on RV Trader, guys. You look, you, you just go to our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Just pick random class C's out. And, and then you go to RV Trader and look up those Class C's. Our prices are constantly $10,000, dollars dollars $20,000 less than any other dealer in the country for the same RV. Because, just because of that reason right there. We, don't, we make our dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters, like my grandpa used to say. We don't have the overhead. We don't spend millions of dollars a year in advertising. When you go to the bigger dealers, guys, they have more overhead. The bigger the dealer, the bigger the price. It's basic economics. The bigger the dealer, the more they spend, the more they have, to, the more overhead they have, the more they have to charge. So you go to rip off the world, all these other places, guys, and keep in mind that out what you see advertised is night and day between that and the out the door price. So anyway, if you got any questions, give our salespeople a call 706-965-7929. Hang tight, guys. Let me bring the awning in. Let me bring the slide out in, and and uh, we do take trade ins. Nationwide delivery is available for a dollar a mile round trip or two dollars a mile one way. And um, we do have financing available with approved credit and down payment. So hang tight. Let me get this thing slid in and um, call before coming to look. Thanks again for watching and uh, see you in just a second. All right, everybody. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward slide out procedure. Uh, just like any slide out procedure, you want to go outside and make sure all your outside bays are shut, latched, and locked. And of course, I got the awning in. Um, I got the front seat pushed all the way forward. And uh, motor off. I wish I got it on right now to get a little AC going. Park and brake on. And um, once you get all that set, make sure there's no debris in the way. If you're parked under some trees, of course, this one's got the slide toppers. You don't have to worry about that. But if you didn't have slide toppers, you want to make sure you're, uh, um, you've got no limbs or debris or leaves on top of the slide out so you don't damage your seal bringing it in. And uh, got a little warning buzzer because I got the door open. 
<laughs> you do have a slide out button right here. Just press and hold it until it comes all the way in and you're good to go. Either bring a slide out all the way in or all the way out. There's no in between. The slide out has to connect with the wall to keep the water out. Um, so if you can't put your room all the way in, all the way out, leave it all the way in. And you can see guys, it's a little tight through here because it's a full wall slide out. I can't really squeeze through here, but I'm 300 something pounds. Uh, you know, if you're skinnier than me, you should be able to get to the back, no problem. Uh, you lose access to some of your storage, but you can still lay down, take a nap, all that good stuff. You can still get to your bathroom okay. Even if you're my size, I can still get into the bathroom, no problem. Uh, full access to your kitchen, refrigerator, um, all that good stuff. So, anyway... Let me see, guys, if I can get somebody to go with me. If not, I'll come back on and tell you. So hang tight, and hopefully we'll take this thing for a very quick drive. See you in just a second. All right, everybody. Now we're going to test drive this 2018 uh, Thor Quantum, and I got my good buddy Joe. He's going to stay over a little bit and ride with us, so show him some love. And if you're interested in this RV, give him a call or a text on his cell phone. Um, any questions or interest? Joe, what's your number? It's 423-702-1310. And he will be glad to help you out. He's pretty familiar with these. And hopefully we can get out of here. We got a long line of, oh, they got a wreck up here. That's what's going on. Actually, guys, um, I don't know if we're going to get out of here or not. Never fails. <laughs> I tell you, this is a bad intersection right here. But guys, anyway, um, <laughs> 13,960 miles. Uh, this thing ought to drive great. No check engine light, got a really cold dash here. Yeah, we're gonna have fun up here. Guys, we're gonna pause the video for a minute. Let's get around this and uh, I'll see you in just a second. All right, guys, I think we're through it now. One good thing about a situation like that with a Class C, it is a lot more maneuverable than a Class A. Not that I'm hating the Class A's, I still love Class A's, but Class C's are a little bit more easier to get around situations like that. Going up this hill, I mean, this thing shifts great. It's got the five-speed torque shift, Ford's version of an Allison. Even though this is a bigger Class C, it's still got plenty of power torque. We're going to take it up the interstate here and see what it does. Like I said, guys, if you're looking to buy a brand new uh, Quantum PD31, this is going to save you about half the price. Save you a ton of money right here. It gets something that's just as good. And honestly, probably better. Because y'all, the bugs are going to be worked out of this one. down the interstate. I mean, we're just sitting here cruising 55, no problem. These Michelin tires ride great. See what kind of speed we can get this thing up to. V10 sound good when you get on. 55. Oh yeah, 60 right here, 62, 60. 
Dang, they're 65 getting on here. Oh, yeah. Let's hit that cruise patrol. We'll try it out. No problem here, guys. Smooth sailing. Tires feel good. We are just chilling, guys. Cruise control works great. Actually got a break in the traffic, believe it or not. Not a lot of wind noise for a Class C either. I like that. Of course, I always like to point out, you got your built-in sun visor with that cab over. You don't need these things. Now, I'm going to tell you a little trick, too. For those of you who've never drove a Class C, you see your mirrors on the side, your outside mirrors? That's the same width as your body. So, uh, as long as your mirror's clear, your body's clear. The body of your RV will clear. Go ahead and get off here, try the brakes out. Brakes, rotors, all that. I don't feel any vibrations, pulsating. Feels good. Guys, I think this is a pretty good one here. I mean, it drives like a 13,000 mile motor home supposed to. And uh, thanks for riding along with us, but don't just take our word for it. Come try it out for yourself. If you're interested in this Thor Quantum, give Joe a call or a text. Joe, what's your number? 423-702-1310. And uh, we're going to get on back a lot so we can get closed up. And uh, thanks for riding along with us and watching and smash us a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.